Welcome to another episode of Dungeons and Dialogues, the show where I dialogue about dungeons and or dragons. I'm your host, Sam, and thanks so much for joining. In this series, we talk about everything D&D. We'll interview players, talk about how to play the game, build characters, and most importantly, have fun. Before we get into it, I wanted to say thank you to Dice Envy. Check out our affiliate link down below for some sick-ass dice. Also, check out our Patreon, Instagram, and podcast wherever you get your podcasts. You can click on any of the links below or just search The Bottle Cap Brigade. Also, if you're not doing anything on Thursdays around 6.45 Mountain Standard Time, be sure to check out the Bottle Cap Brigade's live stream. Lastly, if you'd like to like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Viewers like you help us make more of this content, and that makes us really happy. Let's begin. Hello, and thank you so much for joining the next episode of Dungeons and Dialogues. I'm your host, Sam, and today I am joined by my wonderful partner, Amanda. We are going to review a bunch of different plot hooks that I make up on the spot. Amanda has prepared a little bit of a game for us. I'm not exactly sure what's happening to me or why, but Amanda, would you like to explain a little bit? Sure. So Sam here does not know the rules of the game. He's also never heard any of the prompts that are in the game. So I'm going to riddle off some rules and then some prompts, and Sam is going to give us as many plot hooks as he can in the time allotted. Hopefully at least one. Uh, and I will be drinking this entire beer. Let's begin. All right, we are going to start off with a little game of give me as many plot hooks as you can in one minute. I'm going to read a prompt from my list, and then Sam, you are going to give me as many plot hooks as you can that relate to that prompt. You do not have to mention the prompt itself in your plot hook if you don't want to, but I get to be the final judge of whether or not it counts. We should have rehearsed or something. That's no, good. Sam, do you want a warning at 30 or 10 seconds to the minute? Nope, just get at me. Let's, let's just do it. All right, I will read your first prompt and then the timer will start immediately after I read the prompt. We're going with a little bit of a bottle cap brigade prompt here. It is drinking buddies. Oh God, so you walk into a bar, you see two people drinking with each other. One of them actually slaps the other one for no particular reason and you want to get involved. Uh, one of your party members gets super drunk around a campfire. They throw up and they seem like they have alcohol poisoning. Uh, you stumble across a bunch of orcs that are drinking together. Uh, they're so drunk that they can't really wield their clubs. Uh, there's a hawk that drops a bunch of beer down from the sky. You don't know why that happened. Uh, there's a dragon and the dragon makes beer. It's also sentient and talks to you and it's friendly. Uh, there's a bartender that uh, really only serves people that are already drunk uh, and his goal is to convert them to his cult. Uh, there is a cult leader that is always drunk and really, really loves beer and won't talk to you about anything but beer all the time. Uh, there is a tavern that is connected to like a homebrew factory um, that's about to explode and the mayor's really concerned about it. Uh, there's... <clears throat> How did I do? I think you got seven. Uh, okay. All right. Starting out hot. All right. Your next prompt is a letter from home. You get a letter from your mom, she's pissed and wants you to come back home. You get a letter from your dad, and he's pissed that your mom's pissed the, and you need to go back home. You get a letter from your ex-girlfriend from when you were going to school at home, and she's pissed that you're not home. However, she doesn't want you to come back home. You get a letter uh, from a mysterious patron that wants to just give you a bunch of money, but you have to go to his estate. Uh, you get a letter from a lady uh, that thinks you're someone else, uh, and she wants to meet up for sex. You get a letter from uh, the town council saying that you smell really bad and you have to start showering. You get a letter from one of your friends from a really long time ago and they say that they miss you, but uh, they're really scared. Uh, you get a letter, uh, kind of like in uh, Drive, uh, like a kidnapping letter uh, from someone saying that they stole one of your friends. You get a letter from uh, a god uh, saying that they are, they've taken human form and are shape-shifting around and if you can find them you get a bunch of treasure. You get a letter from uh, a very, very distant... Um, shit! <laughs> I think you actually did better on that one than the last one, but get as frustrated as you want. <laughs> okay, for this next prompt I am going to give you the beginning of a sentence and you can choose to either come up with a new plot hook or you can finish the sentence. And this is... A hooded figure approaches you and your friends and... Wants to smash. 
Uh, they want to talk a whole bunch of shop about fighting. Uh, they want to learn all your spells and give you nothing in return. Uh, they have a bunch of magical wares. Some of them work, some of them don't, and you can't really tell which ones are which. Uh, they are uh, on the run from the police or the, like the constable or whatever, and uh, want you to help hide them. Uh, they are actually undercover police trying to find people doing shitty shit. Um, they are a shape-shifting demon uh, that has taken the form of a person. They are uh, someone that is lost and uh, has been lost for a very long time and is trying to find home. Uh, they are someone that uh, is a very, very important noble that uh, got the shit kicked out of them in a bar, lost all their money, and now they're just kind of wandering around. Uh, it is someone that is from another plane and just shape-shifted or like planar shifted to where they're at right now and doesn't know why. Ah, 10. Okay, are you ready? The board's fucking ready. Okay, your next prompt is, the sun is setting, you have less than an hour of daylight until... All of the bees come out. Uh, you have less than an hour of daylight until you starve to death. Uh, you have less than an hour of daylight until everything freezes over uh, and you get into another throat, like ice age. Uh, you have less than an hour of daylight until they find you. You have less than an hour of daylight until you actually get to town and you get to take a nap. Uh, you have less than an hour of daylight until uh, the trees wake up. You have less than an hour of daylight until uh, you run out of beer, which is horrifying. You have less than an hour of daylight until one of your party members turns into a werebear. You have less than an hour of daylight until uh, you shit your pants. You have less than an hour of daylight until there's no semblance of reality left and you're transported to a different plane of existence. You have less than an hour of daylight until uh, the vampires come out and chase you. You have less than an hour of daylight until uh, a pack of wild dogs walks around in the middle of a video that you're making. Well, you can hear the tippy tappies, otherwise it's not sure you want sense. Okay, your next prompt. You are at the tavern. You look across the room and... You see a super hot barmaid that is uh, slinging beers at, on, on the cheap. Uh, you see a couple of different people fist fighting each other and you're not exactly sure why. Uh, you look across the tavern and the bartender, uh, his pants fall down just randomly. You look across uh, the bar and uh, behind you, you hear uh, talks of uh, a burglary about to happen in the bar that you're in. Uh, you look across the bar and uh, you see a lusty Argonian maid. You look across the bar and uh, there's a very shadowy hooded figure in the corner smoking a pipe and talking about hobbits. You look across the bar and um, you see uh, kind of a, like a portal in the wall. It looks like it shimmers a little bit and you don't know why. You look across the bar and you hallucinate and uh, everything kind of fades to black. You look across the bar and you see a really nice bar. It looks like it's really well laid out. Um, there's really nice ale available. You look across... What? Well, I stopped counting because I That's okay. forgot. <laughs> It's okay. So it's gonna get fun. We will put a number up and... Yeah, but we'll, we'll count later and figure out whether or not we made it to 100. Mm. <clears throat> okay, your next prompt is don't touch that. Don't touch it, it's dead. Don't touch it, there's a whole bunch of bees inside of it. Don't touch it, if you do, you might turn into a werewolf. Don't touch it, a sorcerer touched it. Don't touch it, if you touch it, you're gonna get fucking planar shifted. Don't touch it, I touched it. Don't touch it, because if you touch it, then I can't touch it again. And if we both touch it, then we both die. Don't touch it because we need it. And if you touch it, you're gonna break it. Don't touch it because you're an idiot. And I'm very, very worried about what'll happen if you actually pick it up. Don't touch it, please. Please don't touch that item. It's very, very scary. Uh, don't touch it because if you open it, a ghost will pop out. Don't touch it, there's at least 300 miniature horses that are running around inside of it and we don't want to scare them. Don't touch it, it took me forever to put that together and I'm worried that if you do, uh, you'll take it all apart and it'll take me forever to put it back together. Uh, don't touch that, it's... I don't know about those. <laughs> I don't know about them either. 
Our next prompt is your favorite, my favorite, and Austin's least favorite. It is Grifter. Oh God, there's a Grifter and you can see that he's uh, writing down a bunch of prophetic material to uh, get every passerby to follow their ways. Uh, there's a grifter and he's stolen all of your money and you didn't even notice it until like three hours later. There's a grifter that is running rampant in a town selling snake medicine, snake oil, um, and he won't stop no matter what anyone tells him to do. There's a grifter that's both violent and very, very persuasive uh, that is trying to uh, seduce one of your party members. There's a grifter running around town um, that is kind of fat and kind of stupid and also drinks a lot uh, and talks about like info and wars and stuff. Uh, there's a grifter that um, is actually really, really nice and didn't mean to be a grifter when they started grifting and wants to get out of the business, but if they do, then they're afraid they won't be able to like buy food and, and shelter and shit. There's a grifter that is also a god and he's trying to find people that All right, we've made it through six prompts. We've got four to go. Your next prompt is a strange merchant. There's a strange merchant and you can tell all he's selling is really antique coins, but you can't tell if the coins are actually worth anything or not. There's a strange merchant that only wears a trench coat. Uh, underneath the trench coat, he doesn't have any clothes on, so you're scared that if he opens it, you'll see his nibbly bits. Uh, there's a merchant uh, that seems really, really strange from a distance, but as you get closer to him, he looks normal, but you still can't tell if he's actually normal or not. Uh, there's a merchant that only sells green beans, um, and you don't know why, and he won't tell you. There's a merchant that uh, will sell you really, really valuable wares uh, if you're willing to do a bunch of work for him for free. Uh, there is a merchant that has been literally all over the world, seen everything, has a wealth of knowledge and information, but won't share it unless you uh, like do a riddle. There's a merchant that you run into inside of a town that has slept with literally everyone else in the town uh, and is unabashedly like forward about that. I'm somewhat proud. Uh, there's a merchant that sells uh, really, really good gear, really cheap, uh, but he has an angle to everything that he does. There's a merchant in town that sells really, really shitty gear, really expensively, but he's the only merchant that's there for like the only merchant in, like 400 miles or some shit like that. Uh, there's a merchant that is also a grifter that also talks a lot about info and wars. Um, the timer wasn't set, but it's okay. The, the Alex Jones one was great. All right, all right, all right. We have three left. This time I will actually remember to start the timer and your next prompt is something sticky. Oh God, there's something sticky in my pants and I don't know how it got there. Uh, oh man, that is super de duper sticky and I don't know where it came from. Uh, you look across the wall and you can tell there's something really, really sticky on the other side of the wall. Uh, and it seems like it's coming out of the wall actively and you don't know what's on the other side. Uh, you are walking across a path and your feet get really, really stuck in the path and you can't lift them up no matter what. It seems like it's magical. Uh, there is a very weird, very small gnome that's running around uh, throwing sticky little substances at anything it sees, uh, trying to just piss everyone off. Uh, you uh, buy a sword from one of the merchants that I brought up earlier, that anything that it hits, uh, it sticks to really, really heavily, unless uh, you speak a magic word and you release it. Uh, you are able to find a vial from one of those merchants too, that's full of sticky goop that you can shove down someone's throat and it just gets stuck in all their airways and kills them. Uh, there's a really, really sticky... It was very quiet. I don't know why I got quieter. Okay, your next prompt is suddenly out of the ground. Suddenly out of the ground springs a giant worm. It is super, super duper scary. Suddenly out of the ground, uh, a hole appears. It's like a sinkhole that appears in front of you uh, and it leads to the Underdark. Uh, suddenly in the ground, you actually notice there's footprints uh, of a relatively large creature. You're not sure exactly how long they've been there, but they lead off in the woods. Uh, suddenly, uh, out of the ground springs a very small, very nice fairy uh, that bestows upon you like three or four wishes. Suddenly, out of the ground uh, sprouts a very small, very mean-looking fairy uh, that curses you uh, with some ailments. 
Uh, suddenly out of the ground, uh, you see a bunch of plants sprouting. Uh, they begin, be, begin to become a little bit more wild than you're actually comfortable with. Uh, suddenly out of the ground, you see your mirror self actually raising out of nothingness, um, and you're not really sure the intent of that. Uh, suddenly out of the ground, uh, you see a puddle of water spring to spring from nothingness. All right, that was nine orbs. Or 10 or something, I've lost count, but this is your last prompt, and it is What is that smell? Oh, God. Uh, so, someone uh, farted three doors down, and you can't uh, tell exactly where it's coming from, but you feel compelled to follow the scent. Uh, you're walking down the path, and you smell just something super duper gorgeous that actually leads to a succubus. Uh, you, what is that smell? Uh, you smell uh, something that is kind of like oranges, but also mixed with a little bit of butthole. And you can't tell if it was one of your party members or like a plant that is near you. Uh, you're actually exploring uh, a dungeon and you smell something really sweet. Uh, and you find a pile of walnuts that is, uh, they were like sugar coated walnuts that are super tasty uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, what is that smell? Uh, you're in a tavern and you smell nothing but beer and the beer smell starts to make you sick, but you really love beer. So you, you really just, all you want to do is drink this shitty smelling beer uh, and you can't stop. Uh, what is that smell? You're in the, you're about to meet, uh, with, uh, that was tough. That was tough. You did really good. You did really good and I'm really proud of you. I, I actually expected you to do a lot better on that one than you did. So yeah. surprises all around. Okay, um, so I failed to keep count at all because um, while well, I made up the rules for this game, I don't know how to play it. So I invented a lightning round in case you didn't get to the hundred plot hooks that we wanted for this video. And I have no idea how many we have. So we're gonna go forward with the lightning round. And um, my guess is we need about three minutes. So I'm gonna put three minutes on the timer. Hopefully I have enough prompts. The rules of the lightning round are pretty similar and pretty simple. I'm gonna give you a word or a phrase and you're gonna give me a plot hook. It does not have to contain the word or phrase that I give you, but I get to be the one to decide if it counts. And the goal is to get through as many as you can in the next three minutes. Your first is lost. Uh, I'm really lost and really scared, but I'm confident that I'll find myself. Purple. Uh, oh god, there's a big purple robe that's just falling out of the sky for no fucking reason. Quest. Uh, uh, you're given a quest by the constable to find a really, really stupid asshole that no one likes. In the spiders. Uh, there's so many spiders just all over the floor, uh, and you, you they're gonna bite you a lot. Pubic hair. Uh, you eat a bunch of pubic hair in your sleep, you wake up with it in your mouth. Uh, it's gross. Twelve. Uh, you're twelve years old all of a sudden, and you don't know why. Pumpkin spice. Uh, you're in a bar, they offer you a pumpkin spice latte after you drink it, that's what you want. Catapult. Uh, there's a catapult and it looks like people are using it for recreational purposes to get catapulted like across the field. Moist. Uh, there's a really moist, dank forest grove that you stumble across and uh, a witch lives there. Pajamas. Uh, you uh, lose your favorite pair of pajamas from your knapsack. Shack. There's a shack, and inside of it is another shack, and inside of that is another shack. Waterfall. There's a waterfall that has um, no purpose other than to yell as loud as it can. It has a mouth at the bottom of it, and it just screams all the time. Toenails. Uh, there's a bunch of toenails that you find in your bed uh, after you rent it. It's a problem. Shapeshifters. Uh, there's a town full of only shapeshifters, and all of those shapeshifters shift into different shapes uh, depending on their mood. It's very confusing. Campfire. There's a campfire that you and your party set, and it won't stay lit because you're bad at doing it. Winter. Uh, winter comes literally in the middle of summer one day, and you don't know why. Dragon. There's a dragon that swoops down into black dragon. It's probably 20 levels above you. Uh, and the only way that you can survive is by uh, getting out of the way. Dragon again. There's another dragon that is a red dragon that's swooping towards that black dragon and they get in a fight in front of you. Dragon again. Uh, there's a third dragon that you can see off in the distance watching this happen and laughing and writing down what's going on. 
Massive. Uh, then there's a massive uh, like asteroid hurling towards these dragons that you can see, and really your only hope for survival in the D&D universe is that all three of these dragons team up to stop the descent of this asteroid. Nuts. Uh, there's a bunch of nuts in a bar. Uh, they're really germy and gross, but you're super hungry and you haven't eaten in like three days. Gamble. Uh, you uh, get addicted to gambling. Lettuce. Uh, your friend turns into a ball of lettuce. You can tell he still has sentience, but it's all lettuce. Graveyard? Uh, you're walking through a graveyard and a ghoul pops out, and, but instead of being really mean, the ghoul is actually really nice and offers to give you a bunch of power. I didn't know what to do. Did all those count? Yeah. Oh god. Do you want to come back up and we can do our outro? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching that entire video. Uh, funnily enough, we didn't actually record an outro for this, but we really hope you enjoyed the content anyway. It was a lot of fun to make. But look for more here coming soon, hopefully uh, with COVID being what it is and the pandemic uh, being as pervasive as it is, uh, we can put out a lot more fun content for everyone. So enjoy, stay safe, uh, stay healthy, um, wear a mask, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Well, he looks like two eight balls on a square scroll.